All right, so welcome to my first tutorial on, I guess essentially it would be RPG Maker 2003. This is groundbreaking, yay. Um, I'll put the uh, links to the description in, I guess, future tutorials. Um, not the greatest public speaker, so if you hear me saying um a lot and uh and uh, you know, this is essentially my first YouTube tutorial video. So I'm very excited to see where this goes. I'm using a program called OBS and it seems to be working just fine. I got to tweak a few things on my microphone and uh, we'll just begin and get started. So, so basically what I want to cover today is auto run sequencing and just to get a, a look at how my game's going, you know, behind the scenes. So it's both an analysis and a uh, essentially a overview of how my game's gonna go. So that's that's fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna go straight into the cutscenes intro. And what we have here is a blank screen and I just decided, you know, this is going to be the beginning of my game. And if I run the game, which is up here, there's there's an option of begin play test, full screen and display the title screen. So I'm not going to put it in full screen. I'm just going to put the uh, title and begin the play test. And then I'll just walk you through the code of auto run and go through the first scene. Uh, which is to here and you can see how well I've organized things. So here's scene one home scene two docks uh, then uh, down here is towards the game, but Anyway, so I'll just hit begin All right, let me bring that over here <laughs> I immediately have an option that allows you to change whether you want it in full screen or window just as a preset. I'm going to go ahead and just set it to window and just set it to the size so we can compare the code back and forth. All right, so okay. Oh. All right. So I got the the stock music which will be my music uh in in the game later. Right, we're gonna keep going. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so I have an input name sequence. What what I'm gonna try and do later is have the uh, text read the name. I'll just call him J. I'll just call him J. <laughs> he looks like a J. Uh, get over here. All right. So, game begins, character's doing his own thing, and we're off. So, talking, talking. Alright, so, we have the character moves towards another character, text begins. And there she goes, one at a time, they disappear. Notice how the character's slowing down, and he comes to a complete stop. Yeah, my dad, he's been through a lot. Have I been lazy? He's right about this. Whoa, okay. Hey, yeah, smell marshmallows. Now I have the screen moving up towards another character. Uh, that would be my, my sister in the game. Talking. Talking. Alright. And he's running around in circles. Fade to black. Fade to black later that evening, and then we arrive inside the house. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Cool. So in an auto run sequence, from changing from the the black screen, I have the this this here is the player's starting position. So you right click and you set player starting position, and that would show would would have the character begin on a specific map and then 
towards and then after the auto run sequence what i gotta what i have have to do is essentially stop everything that says that the player has started here has moved towards the game itself and then finish the sequence um, now you can see that there's a, a white uh, square in the top left hand corner um, if I change the field view to upper layer tiles and event editing mode, you'll see that, 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 that that's an event. That's why it has the E there or in the lower. So I'm going to click on it and this shows the code for the very first uh, title when it begins. So open video options. That's what you saw with the, the toggle full screen slash uh, half screen and then set your own options you don't have to put it there you can you know put it wherever you like in terms of a, a video sequence uh, where to find it is you right click so oh man it, this is more than just a uh, I, I guess a uh, tutorial it's it's more of a an analysis of the game so don't be confused it's more like uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not just, I'm sort of just getting right into it rather than saying here's step one, step two, step three. I actually, you know what I'll do is I'll, I'll put to good, very good tutorials of um, other uh, uh, games that I've, I've learned from. Oh yeah, shout outs to uh, Connor um, who gave me a lot of inspiration in uh, building a game. It's been... I think three or four months just to get all this stuff set up. I'm getting offhand, but anyways, uh, so you would click on this, you create another event, you'd label it um, like auto run. I'll just put, yeah, so a, uh, my keyboard's backwards. Hold on one sec. Yeah, auto, right? I'm gonna delete it anyways. Um, click here, double click. In the back, uh, there's open video options, right? And then you'll get you'll get that. But anyways, um, so he does all that, and then you notice how the uh, music begins. And when I put transparent is on, if if I were to turn it off, when you have a player starting position, you'd see the character here. And this is, this is very useful. So at the end of this auto run sequence, when I get to the island house or down here, you're gonna notice that when I click on the same thing, show hide player, I'm gonna have the transparency of the player off. And then the auto run, and then it's gonna cut and you know, I'm getting way too far ahead of myself. This is, again, it's not so much a tutorial as, as much of an analysis, it's both. Um, but I'm just taking you steps by steps through the game if you're interested in how I pieced it together. So, uh, anyways, I play uh, the stock music. So, D and you can customize this, which I will be doing. Uh, so, if I were to go in and press right click, edit, I can choose the background music that I want playing. So, I, I can choose even how it fades in. So, it kind of is just there, um, even if you were to play it back. I don't know if you can hear this, but like it, it kind of just goes straight into it anyways. I can customize the tempo, which is very effective in uh, personalizing your own sound. Uh, when I write my own music, it'll be kind of exactly what I want. So I won't be changing around the tempo or anything. I'm probably not going to use any of this of course it will be credited as not mine if i do use it in the game and then the balance will be either to the left of the the, the listener or the right of the listener probably just want to keep it always center and hit cancel so you can walk through this you have the options of having the character seen on and off and then text which is probably the biggest part of the game so the nice thing about RPG Maker 2003 is that uh, it's very user-friendly. I haven't shown you what I could do in Unity and all these other uh, programs, but I strongly recommend someone that wants to just begin uh, 
creating video games as much as myself. I, I mean, I used to create some video games while I was in high school. I stopped doing this for a very long time, and then I got back into uh, this this whole world because, uh, you know, I, I write music first and foremost, and then I wanted to do uh, a, or write for video games that I could see take off and see in my own vision, and essentially I couldn't because it's very hard to connect with people on the web and in person and they already got projects going and you know it's a whole so you know take charge and uh, be build your own game uh create your own world um there's there's nothing that says that you can't i'm a strong believer in you know anybody can do anything if they put their mind to it and it's probably better to just grab from all these worlds so you know Right now, I've I've just become a, a YouTube persona or cr YouTube creator. So, you know, there's a new one. This, and this is the beginning of that. So I'm very excited. Anyways, um, you can find text if you insert or uh, yeah, edit insert. And it says show text. And then you can just write the text. Uh, something to note um, is that at a certain point when you're writing the text, uh, I'll just do uh, the... The, this uh, RPG maker <clears throat> doesn't recognize when the text gets cut off. So you could keep going till here. But the truth is it might only cut off about like here per se. So you want to just test that. And you can see in in uh, the the dialogue here is that I've, I have it very nicely cut so that it fits the text box itself. Um. I'll get to this in just a quick second, but when you also add a character's face next to a text box, it becomes even shorter. So that that's an important thing to, to note when you're doing an auto run. Um, also very important, uh, there's, there, there's something here called triggers and for an auto run sequence, you wanna make sure that uh, the trigger is actually set to auto run rather than parallel process or event touch, player touch. Th those things are, are for uh, uh, later. Um, and these are more in games. So I could just run through them very quickly because I guess it's both a tutorial and analysis. An action button, for example, I would use this as if I was running the game and I wanted to uh, click something. Um, let's say I walked up to a fence and I wanted to like do something to the fence. I, I do action button. A player touch would be when you're walking into a house or walking into a new map. So you don't have to select the new map. You're just walking into it. That's so it's self-explanatory. Um, parallel process. Th this is where it gets tricky. I, I haven't so much used event touch or parallel process. But I believe, I believe parallel process is when you're going through an auto run and you want to switch it off to um, the end game. So you wouldn't be using these two very often, event or parallel. I, I Again, as I learn through more tutorials, I'll, I'll get this. Anyways, um, here, right here is where I get the, uh, the name or I input my name. Uh, so insert. Where would this be? Uh, video options, island guy. Uh, da, 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 da. Play beach. Um, input. Name input processing. Maybe I skipped over it, but it's somewhere in here. Uh, key input processing might be towards the beginning. There it is. Name input processing. And you, you have all these specific kinds of uh you probably only need to use it once or twice whether you gather characters and you want to and you can also always change their name in, in the in the font screen but it's you know it's professional it's a very 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 uh detailed um even even the earliest rpg maker 2003 uh so i do that get over here uh that i've i fade out so this is a, a type of 
uh, change screen transition. And the most important thing when you're changing maps, and this goes for both uh, an auto run or a uh, or just while you're in game, um, you can transfer the player so you can see the next screen. Uh, these are both events, character events. I have them facing up. I have them f falling in at this this point, and I, I selected that map. So this is the first map, and I can change it, right? I could go, you know, the next screen could have actually been here, and then I could click here, say he's facing up, and then just jump a couple maps, right? But that would make sense in the auto run, so I'll just hit cancel, cancel, and we go into the next map. Um, we're at the 16 minute mark. I'm going to just go very quickly over this map and then call it. Perhaps I'll do a second auto run sequence for the next, uh, tutorial. I was actually hoping to show you how I built, uh, the pirate ship because there's a lot of, the, the, I haven't seen any tutorials on how to build a pirate ship. So that's, but you know, I'll save that for, for the next tutorial perhaps. So. In the auto run sequence, I've switched maps. I've created a second event. So you can see, again, there's the event um, by changing tiles. And they'll always show up uh, pink unless you uh, change the, uh, the graphic that goes inside. So next, uh, I have it on auto run. So it's, it's going without me doing anything. Uh, it's happening below the characters. Then I have uh, the main character, which I set. Um, let's go over this as quickly as I can, because uh, I want to make it, you know, not too long, not like a 40 minute video. Woo, we're at the 17 mark already. So I have the set movement route, which you can again find when you insert. Uh, I've been using this a lot and then you're going to be using it a lot for uh, uh, RPG maker when you're creating a very complex scene and that's what I'm going to be doing for most of the game because like I said the game focuses on uh, mental health and uh, story so there's not going to be uh, battling monsters there's not going to be you know the whole Final Fantasy uh, shtick uh, it's going to be more uh, just the character and uh, what he goes through and uh, finding his voice in the text so here um, I have the character moving and you have to count the tiles, right? So I'm moving up, up, left, up, up, right, right, up, right, and then right. And so he's just facing and skip. You always do skip if you can't move. Uh, wait for it. That's also important in some specific instances. As you can see here, I... I tried having them both go in at the same time, but I, I couldn't at that point. So I had the mom go in first, wait for her. I created a, a function that allows her to leave first. And then I had the, the father uh, go in next and then had him move in second. Um, remember what I was saying about adding uh, face or uh, faces to the scenes? So you, you can insert, and that's what change face set is. It's ni it's very nicely organized um, here. So I just added a face. You could double click, add the face on, on the left side or the right side. Again, this is not so much. It's like a half tutorial analysis. I'm just going through very quickly the things that I did to create uh, this game. And it's, uh, you know, this is a four or five month progress. We have yet to even touch the, uh, the, the the inner game right so text text and then this is where sort of the coding comes in uh, oh that's cool um, I did add uh, snow if you didn't notice that so snow comes down midway through it sort of changes the tone um, scroll map and these things you can all find so I I'll prove it to you uh, sorry uh, insert um, Scroll map is right here. Again, this a lot of practice, a lot of time figuring this out. So set weather effects, and you can make it strong wind. You can make a sandstorm, mist, rain. It's it's fantastic. All all these features is as long as you don't have to be skilled in coding. Like I said, you can just uh, 
learn and and again i i will post a link to uh where you can buy rpg maker it's directly on the rpg maker website it's 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 like 20 bucks um i i think that's what i i paid for it uh, each i i i got a couple of extras so i can sort of change the tone if i want to make a new rpg game um uh these these switches um i've created uh like when that when this is on the character disappears I go very quickly to the character uh, so you can see how the graphic is there and uh, when I create this graphic it's gone um, for the mom and for the dad too and then you you just keep doing that and uh, yeah anyways um, I I wish I could make uh, the uh, the screen either bigger or smaller when it's it's viewed but unfortunately there's there's sort of a, a fixed zoom on on the screen itself so you you notice when i'll, I'll run it one more time and I'll, I'll call it a i'll call it a day uh no uh let me just play this oh um oh whatever i'll just uh, run it um, and then yeah okay you, I just want to go back very quickly you you can see how, how big the uh, the screen is uh, but it doesn't show the entire screen then I'll, I'll call it I'll um, move on to uh, the next tutorial next time okay so window okay oops okay blah, 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 blah. A now. <laughs> okay, and you can see how, how, how much it shows, so keep that in perspective, that it's not going to change the zoom of the game, it's just going to show a very specific portion. Um, there are other things that you can buy that, um, or not buy, but I, I think like uh, extra code out there, or you can't code in this game. Or add code in this game, but you can add like a, I don't know other tools that people have developed that can make the game uh, larger or smaller. I've I've tried them; they did, they didn't work. So you know, you get your lot in life, and that's that's that. But anyways, keep going through it. Um, talk through how they disappear. Uh, I've talked through how the faces are put on there. Um, I didn't talk about him going slower, but that's part of the, uh, the movement. Uh, then I showed you how the map can scroll, or the, the scroll selection. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Very, very simple tricks. And spinning, and then finally there's a fade to black and end scene. So, there you go. Um... Yeah, anyways, that's I, I'm going to call it here and say that's the, the end of the first tutorial, which is an example of a auto run sequence and just an in-depth analysis of the game them creating. So Island Uphold, uh, I will attach links to the, uh, the the screenshots of the game. I'll show you where the, the game can be downloaded. I'm probably going to have it downloaded for free for the first uh, month or two. I'm, I'm very excited to release it. Um, you could, so there's, yes, yeah, screen scroll right at this. Uh, I had it tinted. And, and these things are all selectable. And there's that transfer player. So that's just an in-depth analysis of, uh, yeah, the game itself. For the next tutorial, for tutorial two, I want to get right into it. I, I will show you very quickly um how to or uh, the next tutorial will be about building a uh pirate boat uh pirate ship i'll show you what i created because no I, I haven't seen it i've no one's actually done it so this is it yeah this is it Ta-da! this is the uh pirate boat i'm gonna sh i'm gonna show you how i built this in the uh, next tutorial i'll just zoom out so not it i mean not perfect because I, I couldn't find uh, steps on it. But um, again, I'll show you uh, what I did and we'll, uh, we'll build it together. 
uh, side facing, and then there's uh, a way to fa uh, face it up and down. But it'll be trial by error. It won't be uh, perfect. I mean, I can zoom in in on some of this stuff. It won't be perfect per se, but it's it's not about perfection. I I can even show you the auto run sequence for it. I I'm very very happy with how the auto run sequence turned out. It doesn't have to be uh, picture perfect in order to make your game work. Uh, people understand because there's, there's no uh, tutorial. Anyways, so uh, this is Colin Sanquist uh, signing off. Uh, I hope you liked it. You can leave comments and whether this was helpful for seeing an insight of the game or um, what you can do. And even if it wasn't that helpful, I will link tutorials in the description that I found were enormously helpful. Uh, yeah, so uh, hope you liked it, and I'm signing off. Okay, bye.